Hi is everyone welcome to my youtube channel this is Frabook. so i been hearing stuff about dna and i feel uh, today we should talk about dna and i want us to prove that god made man that is not devil and it's not satan the man did not according to science just pop out of nowhere some said think bang or whatever that the scientists are postulating out there trying to make you understand so i'm actually going to stay add a video to my video to make you understand much better but i want you to understand that since time immemorial the artist's signature has become a key ingredient in the art making process it signifies the artwork is finished and that the artist is satisfied now according to the bible on the sixth day of creation god created man in his own image and proclaimed that the work is very good ostensibly he didn't sign his work but on the contrary, like most scientists will want to believe that God did not sign his work, which is us. God did actually sign his work. We, he, he, he signed his work in our DNA. He's written down in our DNA. Now, I, I've always had an interesting thought. It occurred to me that on the contrary, God did sign his work. He did so majestically with finality and breathtaking power. Um, the amount of information in the human body is outright staggering. The human body has an average of 100 trillion cells. I hope you know that. It has an average of 100 trillion cells. In a single cell, the DNA, the DNA contains the information equivalent of roughly 8,000 books. A single cell, the DNA contains an information of about 8,000 books. And if the DNA from one cell we are uncoiled, it will extend to about 3 meters in length. Thus, if the DNA in an adult human Thus, if the DNA in an adult human, we are strong together, we will stretch from Earth to the Sun and back roughly 70 times. The DNA was tied like a rope that is going to run from this Earth for a single person to the Sun and back 70 times. That's the amount of information in the human being. Like I told you, 8,000 books over 100 trillion cells in your body and inside that dna god signed his signature now i'm going to attach a video to make you understand this thing much better so you don't you don't so you stop listening to men that that don't believe in god that don't that tells you that there is no god that you just popped out of something or a sand or you came from it there is no such thing god made you and god signed his work every artist signed his own work god did sign his work God's true name is recorded within our DNA. So let me go ahead and explain. Our chains of DNA contain four nucleotide-based pairs called adenine, guanine, thiamine, and cytosine. And then there's a unit within the DNA strand called a sulfuric bridge. This sulfuric bridge holds our entire DNA strand together. And it only appears after every 10 nucleic acids have been laid down, and then after every five nucleic acids, and then after every six, and then again after every five nucleic acids. So we get this repeating numerical value of 10, 5, 6, 5 within our DNA strand. Well, it turns out the biblical name of God, Yahweh, contains the same numerical value as our DNA strand. yod heh vav heh 10, 5, 6, 5. What's even more interesting is that if you take the Hebrew name of God, Yahweh, and place it on its side, you get the image of a human being. Don't forget that the feminine of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. It's a polymer, actually, composed of two polynucleotide chains that coil around each other to form a double helix. So the polymer carries genetic instructions for the development, functioning, growth, and reproduction of all known organisms and many viruses. We are wanting to focus on its instruction that it carries instruction for development, instruction for development, functioning, growth, and reproduction of all known organisms and many viruses. So if something carries an instruction, where is this instruction coming from? Is it coming from, can, it, can instruction just come out, out of nowhere? It means there is an artist, there is somebody that made that stuff and the person gave that instruction, that command, that code, to that very uh, thing, to behave in such a manner. That's DNA. 